Hey guys, welcome back to the Easy Auto channel. Yeah, I want to replace my cabin air filter, so I keep shopping around on internet, and then find out have some good thing about the the habit. Uh, uh, it mean like a high efficiency particular air filter. Yeah, this type of filter theoretically can remove about like a ninety nine point nine seven percent of like a dust. Pollen, mold, bacteria, pretty much like all the uh, stuff cause like a seasonal allergy. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty bad during those season. Uh, and then also when I like uh, find out some of the Tesla vehicles, they have this type of like a HEPA filter uh, when they're in the weapon mode. So sounds like this is a good filter. And the good thing is, I found one. For my 2013 Chevy Impala, yeah. So in this video, I will show you like uh, the part I use and how to re replace it. All right, let's get down to work. Change the cabin filter. Uh, yeah, on this 2013 Chevy Impala, I I got this like a it's a Bosch, not sponsor. It's a HEPA. I believe that's a good one. You can filter out quite a bit of allergens. So this 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 car, the cabin filter is underneath like uh, this plastic piece, which is like uh, at the bottom, uh, the right side of the the windshield. Yeah. So it's holding by like uh, two plastic clips, one here, one there, and that's the two I'm gonna use. All right, don't don't lose this, okay? And get the hook in. Uh, oh god. All right, one out. One more to go. It's right here. Okay. Last Oh, yep. That should be enough, right? Yeah, but it's like a here's like a where where it meet. So it's equal to yep. And then be careful this line. Use the windshield through a line. Make sure it's like detached from this piece and then slide out. That should be good. And then now you can remove this plastic piece. And here the filter. Uh, and I should do is get a vacuum cleaner to suck up all the dirt and leaves before I remove it. Because I don't want anything drop into the, the blower. <clears throat> Pull this tab up, slide on the old one. Be careful, make sure it's like no loose. Wow, the inside's clean. Ah, that's, that's a good sign, I would say. So now, I can install the new one. Pretty much just reverse the process, but be careful, okay? So the filter needs to be underneath this metal pad tap there and have another one. So 
somewhere there in the shining light. Yeah, under like like right there. Like slide in, everything snug, which is nice. The foam ceiling it is good all the way around. And now I need to go and clean up these pieces and then put it back there. Maybe it's a good idea to grab some like a windshield cleaner to clean up the bottom of the windshield, all the dust. I clean up this piece. Now I can like, uh, like this side should be underneath the lip here and then all the tap should be on the top. That is good. And now this piece. Let's see, slide this in first. And then don't forget to clip the, the windshield uh, tubing underneath here. And then align the hole. So now I can install those plastic clips. That's it. I think that's it. I'm gonna give it. Nope. Oh, if you can still attach, which is good. Now I can install the weather strip back. All right. That is good. Alright, that's how I replace the the cabin filter. It, I hope it can give me like a better smell when the next time I when I use the, the AC or the heat. So here's the part number. Alright, thank you for watching guys. See you in the next video. Bye bye.